people should not steal in the name of the Lord. If you want money, talk of yourself, but don't involve gods. But you know what? There are so many gods. Praise the name of the Lord. Welcome to Bama TV. This is where we talk about the things that are affecting our lives, or we talk about the real life. Come away, Mugeni. This is maybe this is your first video or your first clip. Feel free to comment. Another thing, to subscribe and to share to your friends. Also, if you want to partner with us, there's a, a button down there. If you press it on, it is going to guide you all through. Kuna kitu nataka kuongea. Before I talk about it, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you because of today's topic. Father, we are here. Speaks to us. Uh, open our eyes and our ears so that we can hear you and see thee. Because we are here to obey your will. Guide us, O oh Lord, in this topic. In Jesus' name. Amen. Today, I just want to talk about stealing in the name of of the Lord or of people being brainwashed in our church but before I do that allow me to ask a question my viewer and my listener unaendaka church which is your church unaendaka kanisa gani who is your pastor if you are a member in your church do you normally discuss about finances or we just leave us to to the church leadership that's why today I'm convinced that I have to talk about this. Let me tell you, my viewer and my listener, we normally go to the church for spiritual nourishment. And according to my view, there is something I normally say. It is only in our home and in the church that we normally get blessed. Tunapata pumziko, either kwa manyumba zetu ama boma zetu, Na kwa kanisa. And I normally say, although it may, it may sound funny to, <laughs> to many of you, do you know what wengi wakienda kwa church? Wanalala. In fact, wanalala tu. It's our place to last. That's where we normally go with our baggages and our luggages. And we normally get rest. There are so many things that normally happen as growth of the church is concerned. We have to talk about finances. We have to talk about some physical things that we normally do for the church to grow. And the churches have so many groups. Groups uh, waze, vijana, that is the youth, wanalika, that is. Kuna easy ma groups za mama, you know, blah, 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 according to every church and religion. But let me tell you something. There is so many religion that have been set. And their biggest responsibility it is to steal from people. It is not many years ago, kama unaweza kubuka, kuna dini fulani ilichomoka ama ilishibuka ikasema okay, you know what? Sell your property, your cows, your your lands, your whatever. Uh, after selling those things, you bring the the, the 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 money, you bring your wealth to 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 the caves because the world is coming to an end. When I'm doing this video, I believe it's around 15 years or 20 years down the line. But the world did not come to an end. So, a lot of people, they are being taken advantage by so-called leaders in our religion. And very soon, my viewer and my listener, nitakuletea mambo ya ulevi kwa kanisa na kwa siyasa or religion and political drunkenness I'm bringing very soon. But for now, I'm talking of people how they are being brainwashed in our churches, in our religion. If you can go to so many religions, the gospel is about prosperity. The gospel is about if you do this, you'll prosper. But according to the word of God, the Lord God has talked a lot about 10%, fungula kumi and other offerings. Meaning, my viewer and my listener, whatever you have, the tenth of it, whether it is your salary, whether it is what, whether it is your cattle, or whatever it is your children, by the way, 
the tenth of that thing that you own it belongs to God. Ila kitu ndijaribu kuambia ni fungu la kumi is a mandatory and we have nothing to negotiate about. But if you go to some religion or some churches, there are sometimes and conditions. There are rules and regulations that have been set. Unaweza kuwa mnajenga kanisa. That is something you have agreed. And according to the church leadership, mnafaa kufanya hiyo kazi mnakubaliana according to each one of you a verity. But let me tell you, there are so many people because they don't know the word of God because they, they don't pursue the word of God because they just believe in the men of God to stand on the platform or pulpit and to preach to them they don't take the time kutafuta Mungu vile inasema unapata wamekuwa brainwashed and we have a lot of christian who have been brainwashed to an extent you find that what wengi unaambiwa fanya hivi enda uze mali yako yote come and bring to so and so Tricky na kuanga hapa. The moment your people you are living with, either ni bibi yako ama bwana yako ama watoto wako, wakianza kuwa wakaidi. Na vile hawa watu husema. Do you know what they know preach to you? Number one, the greatest obstacle ni bibi yako ama ni bwana yako ama ni watoto wako. Some of them they have gone to an extent to advise people, you know what? You can leave your husband, you can leave your wife, you can leave your family and come and live with us. And what they are after it is your money, it is your wealth. So you find a lot of people wanauziwa uoka. Come to the issue of witchcraft. Ukitaka sijui ushawiishe kwenu, sijui ilete pesa fulani. Ukitaka sijui kujua nani amekuroka pada hii begu sijui fanya nini sijui hiyo hiyo story zote ziko and you find a lot of people they are being brainwashed to an extent they believe that they have been wished be wished by their husbands or their wives na ni wengi wameacha doa zao wakifuata watumishi wa Mungu if i can recall clearly paul what the paul said paul in the bible he said it is good to test some spirit We have a lot of people they may think that they are filled with the Holy Ghost but allow me to tell you this it is not the Holy Spirit of God why am i saying this god cannot demand something in you forgetting that you have another responsibility what am i trying to say mungu hawezi kukuja kukurushurutisha if you are like a 100k or 20000 and you have a family to cater for god cannot um twist you and tell you you know what bring all that 100k to me or to my house and other things will work out nothing like that when god give you responsibility that is your husband your wife your children your your, your farm your cho- you have parents your everything you have to be very careful about it and people we have seen even the young people because they want to join this religion and everything they have come to a point of even abandoning their parents they don't care about their parents when the parents try to talk to them they oh no 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 wacha nisikize ile mtumishi wa Mungu anavyosema these people that they have been been brainwashed ukiwaangalia hata story mnabonga story na wao wanakaa wako fiti wako sawa wako chonjo but they have been brainwashed and the moment they are drained that money their wealth by these people by this religion they are dumped my view i know it is not going to sound good but that a fact of the matter the bible says when you shall know the truth the truth will set you free before you talk about anything else i normally tell people make sure you mind about your conscience because what these people they are doing it is to corrupt your conscience they control your conscience meaning it cannot come a time when you listen to what your conscience is telling you My view and my listener, just a very good example. If you want to, to control someone's life, make sure you control his mind or her mind. You can take that person wherever you want. You can do whatever you want with that person. 
as long as you are able to control his mind. The same case it happened to this religion. They brainwash you. They sell fear to you. When akuzia uoga mingi sana, you have been wished, you have been doing this, by this, by. you become confused. So every time you earn money, you just bring to those people. And remember this, I'm not saying we should not care about the church. I'm talking of brainwashed. Let me tell you, even the Bible says, try me, bring your tithe and offering to my house. Why we, we normally do that? The upkeep of men of God. Number two, there is a blessing. The moment you bring your tithe and offering, the proper one, there is automatically a blessing. Because the best church start from your family. Even some men nowadays, they have a burden on your family. It is as if they are married to the church and the religion. Come to our women, as if they are married to the church and the religion. They are focused on church, they are focused on their religion, they have a burden on their responsibility, of which it is not light. The gospel starts from Jerusalem. Where is Jerusalem? Jerusalem, it is you yourself and your family, or the people you are living with, before you go to Judea, Somalia, etc, etc, etc. So as I wind up, it is good to say this, there is a lot of wash wash and brain wash in our religion nowadays. Or in the name people wants to drain our wealth and our money for the sake, not for the Lord. Why am I saying this? People should not steal in the name of the Lord. If you want money, talk of yourself, but don't involve God. But you know what? There are so many gods. So until we meet again, this is Bama Say Motahi. May God bless you so much. May God give you a sober mind in whatever you'll be doing in your life. And remember, above everything, mind your heart and your conscience. Let it your conscience and your mind be okay with the Lord God of heaven. And I believe everything will be okay. And let us say no to the brainwash and wash wash in our churches. Amen. Amen. God bless you.